Hello everyone, I'm Pierre bringing you another RenPy tutorial. In this one we're going to talk about the very basics of GUI customization. And this is assuming that you're using the new GUI. If you're using the old one, then that would that's a little bit more advanced and I'll cover that in another tutorial. So if we look at the documentation, the GUI customization guide, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a main menu.png and a game menu.png. And I've got some images right here, game menu and main menu right now. These are a simplified version of the true selves GUI. Uh, it's not the real GUI because that require is a little bit more intermediate, but it's similar. So I'm going to take these two out of my images folder and I'm going to put them in the GUI folder right now. As you see, we've got the main menu and game menu here. I'm going to paste those in and replace them. And we'll take a look at how it looks now. Look, it's there. It's all happy. Yay. If I go to preferences, then it looks like that. OK. Next thing is the window icon, GUI window icon. You actually can't see my icon on this recording, but it will do how you like it. Um, there's the window icon right there. If I go back to my images, here's my new window icon. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in there and replace that. I'm not going to show you again because you won't be able to see it anyway. Um, next up, if we look at more intermediate stuff, we can do stuff with font size. And I have this over here from the... Some of the stuff from GUI.RPY for the true selves. I'm going to check out my GUI.RPY here and make some changes. So GUI accent color, instead of being that, it's going to become this. GUI idle color is going to become this. Idle small color is going to be the same. Hover color, we're going to leave the same, but selected. No, we're not going to leave it the same. We're going to leave it this way. That's coming. Selected color, we're going to also make this. GUI insensitive color. Muted color is going to be this. Oh no, those are the same as before. Okay. Text color is going to be the same. And then we're going to do some fonts. Instead of Deja Vu Sans, we're going to do is GUI fonts. There. And that one. There. And also that one there. So let's take a look and see how it looks now.
actually we're going to have an error because we don't have our fonts yet. Um, so we have to actually put our fonts in. If I go back to my images, I actually have all my stuff in here. So fonts is going to go right here and go into the GUI. And now we should be able to run it. And you can see we've changed the fonts. We've changed Eileen's font here. And there we go. And then let's see what it says next on here. We can do the GUI text box. So I'm going to go back to here and the text box right now is black. I'm going to move to my images and take the text box from here. And I'm also going to take the name box. Okay, now let's see how it looks. There we've changed it. And there's my little text box right there. It doesn't look the best right now because we haven't done some changing of how the screens will look and so forth. But it's, it's you get, you get the idea from it. Next up, we can do some choice menus. So choice button, choice idle background, and button choice hover background. If I go back to my images, choice idle background and choice hover background are right here. And I put those in the GUI button yes let us replace them and now I'm gonna have to actually make a choice in order for us to see this actually no I won't I can do it this way so if I want to get rid of that Oh, it doesn't use that for the confirm. Okay, so I do need to make a choice box, an actual menu, in order to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and add to the script here. Menu 1, 2, and it's not going to do anything, and goodbye. And that's it. Does not contain any choices. Yes, it does. One, two. Let's try that. Okay, so there we are. Here's my choices. And that's how it shows how my hovering works. And there we go. So you can see that the beginning parts of customization is really just replacing some images. You don't even have to do any screen customization. So let's see, do I have an overlay image? I do not. I have, what else do I have left? I have some sliders that look like this. 
for the preferences and the bars and so forth. I'm going to take all this and I'm going to do, put, put it over there in my GUI. And now it's got the new stuff. Let's see how that looks. If I go to preferences, now it looks like this. It looks pretty cool looking. Yeah. So once again, most of this is just changing colors, sizes, and then images themselves. The GUI, uh, the new GUI makes it pretty easy for you to do all of that. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the save slots. And so with buttons, let's see where I can find buttons. There are a bunch of different buttons that you can change. We already changed the choice button, but now we're going to change the slot button. So the thumbnail for the save of before. So I'm going to go ahead and go to GUI, go to button. I see I have a slot here thing already. I'm going to replace these files. And then let's take a look at it. If I'm going to do save, it looks like that. And this is really it um, for the basic customization. It's just changing images, changing your sizes, changing all that stuff. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. I'm going to make a more advanced GUI customization guide later. And that's it. Have fun with your GUIs.